And here we are with Sofia Zuluaga, who's got the most controversial painting on display tonight. Thank you. Um, I really didn't think it was going to be that controversial. I wanted to make something that wasn't so academic, but um, apparently it's a bit out there, so I don't know how you feel about it. Can you describe it to me? Um, it is called Self-Portrait as Saint Agatha. And Saint Agatha was a martyr saint in ancient Roman times. And um, the emperor at the moment hired her to be his concubine and she refused. Um, and so he decided to torture her and henceforth cut her nipples. So I saw this painting, a representation of this painting at El Prado in, I think it was June in Madrid. Um, and I was very dumb, like dumbfounded, uh, and I had to, I had to make a, my own version of it. So it is me, a self-portrait with uh, bleeding nipples. Was it challenging to paint yourself in such anguish? It wasn't really. It kind of brought me back to my roots um, because I grew up in a lot of violence back home, where I'm from in Colombia. There were very tumultuous times in the 90s and early 2000s. So it kind of healed some wounds, if, if that makes any sense to you. So what's your next challenge? My next challenge, I think it's going to be um, fo focusing more on uh, the self-portraits, making it going more into the psychological depths of it, and try to explode it as much as I can from that. I'm so looking forward to seeing what you produce next. Thank you. Thank you. So it's almost the end of the night and we've finally caught up with Paolo Marinello. Paolo, what works do you have on display? Uh, I have in this show, I have uh, three paintings. Uh, two uh, from the series of Lea, it's my girlfriend, and another self-portrait. So let's say that it's a really personal show for me. Can you describe the paintings of Lea? What, what makes them special? Uh, well, for me, uh, I'm I'm the painter no? who who did uh, these paintings, and as as I say, this is my girlfriend, and of course, I, I put a lot of, of feelings there, uh, a lot of, a lot of emotions. But at the end, what people uh, see are, are the colors, the shapes, and, and I, I try to play a lot with the abstraction and with the figurative, with the academicism language. So. Have you enjoyed being part of the show? Of course, yes. And part of the interview with Basilio there, of course, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy it. Thank you, Pao. It's been lovely talking to you. Thank you. You too.